importance of nutrients we by this time we have learned about some of the nutrients that we intake now we will learn the importance of nutrients we have also learned the functions of nutrients also there are some other nutrients that we haven't learned about for example carbohydrates and fat fishes i will discuss this in short carbohydrates usually comes from rice bread wheat and usually this comes from cereals the important is potatoes rice then bread these are foods that are highly nutritious with carbohydrate fats fats usually comes from animal fat fat sometimes comes from foods that are very oily sometimes we get fat by when we have lots and lots of nuts then fat usually comes from um fish fat no fish fat no but fat usually comes from oil and meat okay uh now let us learn the importance of nutrients nutrients are very important for our body we have learned why because it helps the functions we have learned different functions of different nutrients lack of vitamins may cause different types of diseases such as night blindness mouth ulcer rickets and scurvy and beriberi lack of protein can also cause growth failure and loss of muscle we have learned previously that we have very we have lack of growth when we have lack of proteins in our body we may get iron deficiency such as goiter caused by lack of nutrients okay goiter is a disease we it, it's a disease that is caused from lack of iron okay then we have the best way to get the proper amount to get the proper amount of nutrients is by maintaining a balanced diet to get the proper amount of nutrient uh, what it, what does mean what does it mean to have proper amount of nutrients means we will have equal amount of nutrients in our daily diet so to maintain this consumption of equal amount of nutrients in our daily diet we should maintain a balanced diet okay 